Next, let's talk about ordered samples where we're not allowed to repeat or replace the elements. A permutation of a set is an ordering of its elements. Remember that sets naturally don't have any order, so there's a certain number of ways to put those elements in order. If a set has n elements, how many permutations does it have? Well, let's think about it in the same way we thought about the beginning of the last video. We must choose the first element of the set. There are n such choices, but since we're putting the set in order, we're not going to use that element another time. So that means that there's n minus 1 elements left for the second spot. Likewise, there's n minus 2 elements for the third spot, and so on, until we are finished with the set and we only have one choice for the last element. Hopefully, you find this computation familiar. It is exactly equal to n factorial. So there are n factorial permutations of a set that has n elements. Here's a related question. Out of 100 cadets, a starship needs a captain, a science officer, and a communications person. How many ways can that choice be made? Notice that we don't want to do 100 factorial here because we're not trying to arrange all 100 of the cadets. So 100 factorial is wrong. Instead, we only want to arrange three of them. So we have 100 choices for our captain. But once we've chosen the captain, we need to choose a different person for the science officer. So there are 99 choices. And then there are 98 choices for the communications person. Therefore, there are 970,200 different ways this Starship's bridge could be configured. What if we took the total number of ways to arrange all 100 cadets? And then we thought to ourselves, we don't care about the way that 97 of those cadets are ordered, because I'm only taking three of them. The other 97 can be ordered however they want. Well... That's going to be 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 times dot 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 times 1 over 97 times 96 times dot 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 times 1. And the 97 through 1 all cancel, leaving us with exactly 100 times 99 times 98. And we can think of this as the number of arrangements of the cadets divided by the number of arrangements of the unchosen cadets. That leads us to our definition. An ordered sample without replacement of R elements from a set with N elements is also called an R permutation of that set. There are N factorial divided by N minus R factorial such R permutations, and we read that number as N permute R. A really good question to ask here is, is the number of n permutations equal to n factorial? Because it should be. Let's calculate n permute n. Well, by the formula, that's n factorial over n minus n factorial, which is n factorial over 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1, so that leaves n factorial as desired.